Hey guys, this is Samia from Bookface channel. Today in this video, we are going to deal with a, a excellent text actually, which is titled Earthquake, which is written by M. S. Mahadevan. So before getting into the work, I just want to tell you, I have posted the particular content in Tamil also. If you are in need of that, please do refer the description for the link. And if you are not a subscriber, please do subscribe our channel to get further more updates. We'll start with the characters. Bridge is a 17-year-old boy who seems to be the narrator and a tired traveler seems to be the listener. And Bridge he, uh, talks about these people, his uncle, his mother, his father who had a... Uh, Passed away 14 months before the earthquake. Three months refers to earthquake. Before the earthquake. And grandmother Nilu, his brother, who was about 10. And Bully, uh, she is a sister, was, was about uh, 2. And she had been saved before, uh, after the 1 1 hours of earthquake. She has been buried. But still, she keeps her life with the spirit. An army officer who survived the relief uh, operation when there was an earthquake in the Malti village. So we'll go with the text. Greetings traveller, you look tired and cold. So the text starts as Greeting traveller, you are very tired and cold. So there are many places here, strange parts here like Batrinath, pilgrimage, you can visit various places. You can see valleys of flowers here. And whenever a person comes to the tea shop, I'll uh, try to give the best tea. So please uh, take your shop. I humbly request you to this uh, tea shop. So the conversation goes like uh, only a person is speaking. So he offers that he wanted to welcome the person in a humble manner to his uh, tea shop. And he says you can make yourself comfortable on this wooden bench. And also he wanted to offer the best tea in the garwal. And he says see I am carrying the milk. From the shop, in 10 minutes, I'll provide you the tea. And he says, my name, sir, I'm called Bridgie. So do you want my name? I'm called Bridgie and I'm 17 years old. And I've started a tea shop here for the past two years. And before that, he has been working in Panipat. And due to the heavy population crowd, he is getting very lots and lots of money. But at present here, he don't get that much. But he is enjoying the pleasure of his life. And he says, by God's grace, he is uh, leading a enough livelihood. And he says, here your tree is, uh, tea is ready, sir, so you can have it. And he says, this is my daily routine. Once I complete my job, I go to my home, which is near the hillside. And the name of the village where he comes from is small T. So it may not be known to many because it is not at present. It has been completely destroyed in the earthquake four years ago in the month of October. And one night there was an earthquake and even the earthquake can be felt in the Delhi and Lucknow. And people, they were uh, uh, like there was a great devastation that no one had expected to. And he went to the uh, place to buy books. That is he went to... Pauri to buy books and in that night he have been stayed with his uncle. When he comes return back, he sees the news, he finds many things where people had taken him to the relief camp and they had offered him biscuits, snacks, etc. But there was something in his heart which puts him in a struggle and he wanted to know what's that. So when he goes forward to express, he comes to know that his parents, his mother, his, ma, his father had already passed away 14 months ago. His mother was taking care of the family. His mother, his sister, his brother and his grandmother were no more. And the house, two-story house was built by his great-great-grandfather. And no, nothing is more to him. And he feels very bad. And he literally started shouting and crying. When he was called to uh, perform the funeral ceremonies, that is the last rites before sunset, he says, no, no, I will not make it. So when he comes forward, he comes to know that he, the dead body of the, that is a corpse of his sister is not to be found. And he says, she's alive somewhere. She'll be alive somewhere. And he wanted her sister to come back. Where some says that she had been died. And some says that she had been crashed in the earthquake. And some says that she has been uh, carried by the wild animal. But the narrator, he was in the full hope that his sister will be alive somewhere. And he goes to the spot and he started searching where he was uh, accompanied by the uh, army officer. And he says that I have found everything and we have found every people and this place is uh, not, uh, this is actually not a correct process of searching. So you must take care of yourself and we have searched everything. There is no one. 
and after and to her there comes a sound sir so he calls and the person says she is alive so she has been alive in the under the uh, deep breeze for 116 hours and she has been she had survived the earthquake the cold night and the wild animals and the army officer he thanks the person and he hands the girl to bully and it seems to be a very good experience he never thanked the person he never uh, asked the name of the man but still he has a good heart and good spirit for this for that man and later he was uh, taken to uh, his uncle's home his sister to accompany him there he was given a job in the daba near panipat he started working there and his sister she started going to school and when he came here he wanted to offer the fellow traveler and in one winter night he seems a person with his resemblance that is the army officer who saved his sister the resemblance and he started offering coffee and when he goes close he finds that it is just a resemblance of the man it is not the man so this process keeps on going so whenever he sees a fa- traveler a tired traveler he offers him in a humble manner and at a certain place the man he wanted to leave so he says here is the bus sir no no money you are very tired no no i don't want money your bus has come so you can have a travel you can enjoy a travel i offered you coffee only for my self satisfaction this is just a small service it can give me a lot and lots of happiness so may god bless you sir he says and he concludes see or uh, he concludes its talk so from this we have uh, known about the army officer and also the unknown places that have destroyed so here i conclude my video if you want this particular post to be in tamil you can refer our description for the link and if you are not a subscriber please do subscribe our channel to get further more updates thank you